How's it going, YouTube? Today I'm gonna be playing for you. Uh, really, I don't even know what. I don't even know what the fuck this is. This is so ridiculous that I just I had to play it on my channel. Um, I have a feeling that a lot of people will probably get turned away by the uh, the thumbnail. They'll probably be like, I'm not watching that shit. But yeah, this thing is called a uh, a journey parkour, and uh, it's this vehicle right here is called the journey. <laughs> it's literally. It's literally called the journey, and uh, I will tell you guys right now, it is absolutely a journey trying to complete this shit with this vehicle. This vehicle, how did that dude get one that is fucking pink? I'm like so jelly of that. I'm so jelly. I'll have to figure out if there's a way I can go back in and like change the color of my vehicle at some point. But yeah, this thing, just uh, you know, if you guys can bear with me, if I get, if I can get past this first little bit, I promise the rest of the parkour is a lot more. Uh, it's a lot more visible. It's a lot easier to see what the fuck is going on. But the, the first part of this is just like really ridiculous. I don't I don't really know other, any other way to say it. Like basically, uh, okay, stop, 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 stop. This vehicle is very, very strange. But uh, the biggest problem with this, with the first part of this, is that all these trees are in your way, and they're like, you know, they they fit within the uh, the parameters of Rockstar's general logic that you know, even if you've got something that's fucking four thousand pounds heavier than a, a tree. Um, the tree will still not get knocked over. Um, okay, whoa, no, 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 I fucking drove off. But yeah, this thing is just like, it is a, it's a, it's a beast at first, but a after I get past the first part, the rest of it's pretty, pretty easy. It runs together pretty smoothly once you get past that. It's just that, that whole, um, that whole going up the slowdown marker things or whatever and using that as like kind of a, like, like a tightrope ramp or whatever you'd call it. It's just poorly designed because it's like it's really hard to uh, to keep this vehicle like straight enough on anything long enough to be able to do that. Yeah, I already see somebody's leaving. More than likely, a lot of these people are gonna be leaving. But um, hopefully, you guys that are watching are not gonna leave because I, I promise that if you just fast forward it, I, I promise it'll be worth it. I promise. I keep saying that. <laughs> that's, that's my desperate plea to you guys. But no, it's it, honestly once I get past that, it, it it is a lot smoother. It's a lot easier to see what the fuck you're doing because the the setting for this was just like terrible. I don't know why the guy decided that he wanted to set the beginning of this like right in the middle of the fucking woods. Because I mean, like this this vehicle's big enough as it is. Like it's a very oh sh what the fuck was that? Okay, so okay. <laughs> Some random ass van is just sitting there. I have no idea why. I mean, my guess is probably the person that left. Whenever they left, it probably caused that to sit there. That's so dumb. If you get, if you guys are like ever playing a, a car parkour with me and stuff, I mean, this is not like a major gripe. I really don't care that much. But if you are playing one of these with me and you're gonna leave, just like drive your vehicle off the side and then leave. That way, like it's not in somebody's way. Cause that that really sucks that this this van right here is like just fucking chilling. Oh my gosh. Oh, big shout out to the guy that left and left his fucking van sitting right on the middle of the tightrope. That was a very brilliant idea. Very, very brilliant. But yeah, okay, so I'm like three, I'm already like three minutes into this shit. It took me like 25 minutes to complete this. So it, honestly, I did spend like fucking 15 minutes on the first part. So the rest of it is really not as bad. But okay. This vehicle is just like so strange, man. This vehicle is like, I don't understand it. Like, I'm literally, um, like, okay, the trophy truck is a very, very, like, extreme vehicle in terms of, like, if you hit the analog stick, it'll just, like, it'll completely roll off. This one, like, if you literally just move the fucking thing in, in like, the direction of left or right, it just flips over. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't, like, I don't even know. It, it really just will not comply with you at all. You can do it. I have done it. Stall, oh my god! Oh, this is fucking annoying. Let's try that again. All right. Let's see. I can't believe I'm actually struggling with the tightrope part of all things, honestly. Because, like, whenever I was testing this a second ago, that was the part that I was able to get across no problem. Of course, that the van being, sit, like, put down, like, right in the middle of the fucking tightrope did not exactly help anything. All right, let's, uh, let's get past this. Why is it taking forever to fucking go up this? Get that fucking van out of the way. Yes. Finally. Yeah, that's totally what happened. The fucking, the person that left, left their van right there. And it ended up, like, glitching out and causing, like, another van to fucking sit right there. That's, this game is so strange. Like, I, I just, I don't even really know what to say about it. Like, this game is just so strange. Okay, cool.
cool. Can't can't see because there's a, a big ass tree in my way. Just an excellent, excellent design by the guy that made this to, to put trees and shit in the way so that nobody can see where they're going. Here, do this parkour, but be sure to put a blindfold over your eyes so you can't see what the fuck you're doing. It seems like a fun time, right? That's okay, we just just roll over, man. Just you roll over in any other instance. Are you really not gonna roll over right there, dude? Come on now. Literally there. Just roll. Just roll. Just roll. Fuck yes. Just tumble your way to the fucking checkpoint. If I just rolled off the side, I'm gonna be so salty. No, I didn't. Okay. Alright. Okay, so yeah, it only took me like five minutes. That's like a third of the time. <laughs> it's like a third of the time it took me the first time. So, so now we're rolling. I'm not even gonna bother trying to turn this thing around. I'll just respawn. But yeah, I promised the rest of this stuff, or I promised that the rest of this stuff is pretty easy. And I'm going to show you guys that it was. But this is just like, I don't know, it's such a strange vehicle to try to create a parkour for. Like, I, I don't know what, like, whenever I'm, like, deciding on, like, okay, really, man? Really? That, that little ass hump is, like, preventing this fucking 4,000 pound van from fucking <laughs> driving over it. Seems, seems legit. But whenever I'm, like, thinking of, like, parkours and stuff that I want to create, this is not something that even comes close to anything in my mind that I want to create. Like, I, I don't know why somebody would be like, yeah, the, this big ass fucking camper. That's a good idea. Let's make a parkour for that. That's <laughs> the next time I the next time I'm out in public or something like that, and I see somebody driving around a camper, you know, getting ready to go camp or whatever. I would be like, have you ever considered driving that through the woods off of a fucking mountain? Well, if you haven't, I know somebody that has. All right. Okay. What? Stop fucking goofing around. What are you doing? This thing is like flopping all over the place. This part's pretty cool though. Okay, and then I'm about to fucking fall. Oh, look at that. With the fucking the V2 engine I've got on this sweet ass van, I just fucking managed to escape that in like the nick of time. Okay. Fuck yeah. Okay, alright, cool. So we're good. We're, we're rolling now. We're rolling. Those guys are still struggling with the first part, which there's no shame in that because you can't see where the fuck you're going. So there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with. Struggling with something that somebody did, something that some that, uh, struggling with something that somebody put together terribly. It's not it's not y'all's fault. It's this guy's fault. But the guy that makes this, the reason I actually decided to play this in the first place, other than the fact that the name sounded really cool, is uh, the guy that makes these is like actually very good at making parkours. This may be the exception, but I mean, o overall, the rest of the stuff besides the part where you can't see where the fuck you're going. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that makes sense. That made a lot of sense. Let's try that again. But with the exception of the stuff at the beginning and not being able to see where you're going, this is actually a very well put together parkour. Like, some of the other stuff is really cool. Okay, just heard a big ass explosion. Alright, there we go. Let's not. Yeah, there we go. I don't even think I. Did I. Basketball. Steph Curry up on this bitch. I hate Steph Curry. Wow, that was fucking solid. That was super solid, though. Alright, let's do this. Last time, whenever I was testing this the first time, I totally did not land in the tube. I just got lucky enough and hit the checkpoint, so it didn't matter. But, fuck yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that with that big-ass swish. Fucking raining threes on these bitches. Alright. So yeah, back to the uh, the problem of <laughs> the trees that are literally unbreakable. And if you guys have ever been in the woods or been around trees, which I'm assuming most of you have because you live on planet Earth, um... The tops of trees are actually like the weakest part. Okay, really, man? Just fuck it. We'll we'll try to get out of it. Nope, didn't get out of it. But yeah, like the tops of trees are like the weakest part. Like you can literally snap that shit with your hand. But this this van, this van, watch out! This fucking van that's made of like probably three tons of metal. Nope, can't snap a tree. No way. Just another fine GTA logic. But speaking of GTA and the fact that I'm fucking playing the game. Uh, Rockstar is actually in development of GTA 6, which is not, um, okay, what is, what are you doing, man? Seriously? Can I, can I get out of this somehow? I totally just got out of that. <laughs> what the fuck? GTA, GTA 6 is 100% in development. Everybody had been, like, theorizing, but I was actually watching something prior to making this, where the guy that does the, uh, the motion capture acting for the, for video games, you know, so, like, the guy that, you know, that does like the sequence for jumping and fighting and all that different stuff. The guy that gets hired for that sort of thing, 
he just put on his resume that he has been working on GTA 6. So it's like kind of big news. Kind of big news. I mean, everybody knew it was happening, but nobody, I don't think anybody knew, like, you know, wanted to say for sure until there was, like, something official. But this is, this is pretty damn official, I think. Okay, let's not fall. I'm so, so close. Oh my gosh, these guys are still at the first part. I feel so bad for them. I was, like, inviting people to play this, but it's like, it's like I betrayed them. I was like, hey, come check out this parkour, and, oh, by the way, you're not going to get past the first part. Have fun. Thanks for accepting my invite, you fucking nerd. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Oh shit, I forgot about this part. <sighs> okay, so the first part is actually very, very difficult. This is probably a very close second. But the good news is once I get past this, there's actually not much left. So this is not even like, this right here is not hard. This is just annoying. I can't really, s another part, it's like, okay, I don't have trees around me. So, you know, I can see where I'm going, but oh, the platform you're on, you can't see where the fuck it's at. So good luck with that. Trees. Don't hit the trees. This, look at this shit. Like, this is, I did that on purpose, but, like, look at that stupid tree. Like, that thing is literally, <sighs> thing's, like, probably fucking four centimeters round. And, like, this fucking van can't go over it. Okay, now I'm actually stuck. At first, I was just doing it to show you guys how stupid that is. Now I'm actually stuck. Okay, got out of it. I got, oh, this is what it was. This is what I was struggling with. I remember there was a part that I was like, fuck. This turn right here is ridiculous. Look at that though. Masterfully done. I got really fucking lucky just now. <laughs> like I, I was struggling with that so bad the first time. Okay. Alright. Don't want to speak too soon. Because I'm all like, hey, I got lucky with that. And then I can't even get past this stuff, right? Alright. I just gotta go super slow. Which is not a problem because this, this van is super slow. Holy shit, I about drove off the side. Hell yeah, so this is, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself, because I mean, fuck, I was, uh, I was gonna do the, I did this in like 20 something minutes the first time, like 25 minutes. Look at this shit, I'm gonna finish this race in like fucking 12, 12 and a half minutes, probably. Let's do it. Let's fucking hit the finish line. Soccer balls. Oh yeah, slot, look at that style of shit, sliding a camper into a bunch of soccer balls. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully I have my mic on. Okay, I do. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Again, thank you guys for watching.